Good morning, Malta and Goods, and welcome to another edition of Love and Daily. I'm Tindiakono, joined today by Paula Kauki, and I hope you enjoyed, first of all, I hope you enjoyed the public holiday yesterday. We have uh, <laughs> quite a few stories to discuss from, from the past two days. So first of all, we're going to be talking about Malta's new pro COVID-19 protocols for school, the National Youth Council's proposal for Malta to adopt a Singapore-like quota system for new cars, uh, another solar farm which has been proposed on ODZ land in Burmarat. The announcement by Air Malta that's going to start using gender neutral uh, language on board planes. And Bjorn from Moza opening up about uh, his plan to have children in the future. So, Paul, what can you tell us about the new rules for schools? Co, you may need to just in Karwan, administrative education, you have read the protocols of Jodda and the scale. Essentially, it is all about the students who are in the masks in the school. The students who are in the school are in the desk, in the metro, in the bot, in the nine foot metro, in the bot, but in the other sense, they are going to be permitted to see the school assemblies, the PE, the lab work. Il field work o anche gli stai con celebrazioni e tal birthday per classi la uale maton for for il cake. I think to be honest, I think it's one of the saddest uh, restrictions that, uh, that 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 had been announced in the pandemic. Right when when I heard that children weren't even allowed to bring cake to 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 school to share it with their friends, it's like wow, it's really really invasive and really sad on these kids. Imagine the cake time in sense, eh? You know. Minish Hanelja, Nicole, Min Cake, Fe Yon Fu, Yo Shahatie, Nekton for Hokol, Alminek, Ishema. It depends, it depends how strict you want to be, but, but I mean, some people really just, just, want, just, want to, just want to live a bit. But anyway, it's, it's, it's good to see schools start to return a bit more towards normality. I think they could have gone, personally, I think they could, could have gone even a bit further than they went, or at least in, introduced a plan to remove some of the restrictions, particularly the masks and classrooms. As in, we already, there's already been a bit of skepticism. Um, PN candidate Justin Schremb is questioning the need for students to have to wear masks at all times inside the classroom when they're going to be socially distanced from each other. So even at the end of the day, sometimes the masks have to go off. So at least, you know, make some kind of plan for when they will, um, for when that will happen. But yes, at least they are opening and at least it's, they're reopening a little bit with a little bit more, uh, with a bit with fewer, sorry, restrictions. Uh, moving on, the National Youth Council is, came up with quite an interesting proposal to combat traffic in Malta, which is introducing a model that has already been used in, famously in Singapore to a quota system where, whereby the government will place uh, a number of registrations for, on auction every, every year or so, every six months, and people will then get to bid to use that car and that will be in place for the next they can they when once they get the license they can use it for the next 10 years or so it's quite a complex system but it is effective to manage traffic will it work in malta it's it will it'll be quite quite a drastic change Paul, you've been you've been to singapore so how in singapore it works in singapore and the signori the signori one the kidneys are a different differenza per la classi è grande e in Malta mi è soluzione ideale le terze tolo il classi le ti flacht alla so ti vedia al carrozzi o le di clima ti flash ti vedia al carrozza dal bacul a char snina ci vi soluzione le tarde ma non è ideale the similar problem to the electric cars as well as in eh le problema di fare electric cars sta nel che le soluzioni ad ogni stile o le soluzioni ma in pratica è difficile, eh, ma ho sapere che per Zaza, per Nation News Council, ci provavo a fare una discussione di idee che ha fatto una discussione in paese, ma non è che la proposta per se è stata o che il pubblico è stata, però c'è una cosa che si dice, la 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 cosa che si dice, Ante il Planning Authority, l'unico problema è il proposto di Solar 
farmu l-greenhouse jisir fuq art u diżet fil-limiti ta' għur marrat l-applikazzjoni daħlet min grupp Electrofix li diġa għandba l-applikazzjoni uħra bix jisip zvilup simili l-imġar l-imġar diġa kien jemmu pozizjoni u jħti stenna għu li kien jemmu pozizjoni għur marrat għal iċem Bazikament, drajnijari dejmu kunem oppozizjoni l-daw tip ta' zviluk pista nifem li forsi solar farm ja għajsor imma greenhouse farto u dizzet nijx l-arħħġar tista timbena. Posta. Yeah, the problem is to have posta. It's like, fejni posta. It's like, whenever the reality is in Malta, whenever you're going to build something, you want to infringe on someone's view, on someone's passageway, or someone's way of life. It's, it's a sad reality with the fact that, that we we're very small and very highly congested that no matter what you're going to, uh, you're, going to you're going to interfere in someone's life. I mean, at the end of the day, if we're going to go for alternative renewable energy, we're, we're going to need it. We're going to need more solar farms, so there's probably going to be more of these. So at the end of the, at the, end of the day, the country needs to decide which direction to take. And, and it's good that people are starting to realize the consequences, not just of this, but also of issues like electric cars, it's, it may not all just be smooth sailing, but we'll have to get used to a couple of other changes in our day-to-day -day life as well. Moving on, Emolta has announced it's going to start using gender-neutral language on board. What this means in practice is that welcome aboard ladies and gentlemen will no longer apply. It's now welcome passengers or welcome guests. The reason being is that they don't want to offend uh, trans people or other people on, on minority, from minority sexual orientation groups from being excluded by or feeling excluded from men or ladies and gentlemen. So again, small change, but it's, it's, it's quite impactful, right? In the sense that it's, it, it, it kind of makes people realize that, you know, things, things are changing and what may have been the norm for centuries it's suddenly gone, right? And, and I understand that there's, there's quite a lot of strong emotions attached to it. Ara, ya bidla zaira fil verita, ibma għalix le jek tistaġġel kul ħat tħossu welcome u ma tħossu innis li teħarsu jħossu omskond. Ġifiri proset l-er Malta li ħad edda l-pass. Ovjament ħaj kunem min jaqla kritika, kif kinem min kritika meta kienem il-gender, introduzzjoni ta' gender neutral bathrooms u xina fjena, dijem ħaj kollok il-kritika ma nt minu hossi li dawnu ma zaġerazzjoni jiet imma nt hossi li jan minu gender neutral, per eżempi jow trans, etc. li din il-bidla jaf fiġġel li hossu iktar mil-uħu u inkluz fil-soċieta u għalix li kull ħat tandu jħossu inkluz Nadwa l-ħar storja, storja ħelwa min intervista li ta' Bjorn Formoza jidher il-li zawċxu għat tija u għara li l-esti t-tini djar t-tini dar għal-pazjenti bli l-lessija l-li sifer sa' New York u s-fida jgħbar minnek il-li ku jibda jkollu it-tfal Iħa naħseb għada min l-ikbar s-fidi da' kul kopji sadin l-kopja di ġad ditt min ħafna s-fidi u l-bito min l-viri ċerta il-li jifilħu kol għatfal, meġi pezempju, pezempju ta' Stephen Hawking fej għajt rida nu kol għara li ġida jeknus bli jelles kellu it-fal u bek ma jaqtalux għalbu, l-kondizjoni tijam għat jaqtalux għalbu. Yeah, so obviously Bjorn's been in, in, become quite a public figure over the years. Unfortunately, whenever we hear about him, it always tends to be associated with his illness and, and the changes in his lifestyle and that his family have to undergo, had to undergo. But here we're actually seeing something not just positive, but also a bit hopeful, right? For the, for the future, for his future and his, his dreams and his personal ambitions moving forward that go beyond uh, his, his condition and beyond his house and beyond his, his, his activism plans. May I remind you that Lavel Malta recently released a documentary called A Little Smile about Bjorn's life and his quest to build this new uh, home, Dar Bjorn, to for ALS patients. And yeah, that's it from us for today. Make sure you follow lovelmalt.com for all the latest happenings and have a day full of loving. Ciao. Now, when it comes to epic comebacks, I don't think there's any Maltese town doing it better than Xira. In the next episode of Love and Streets, I will find out how such a small, strange little town became numero uno for food and culture in 2021.